I'm going to attempt something fun today uh, based upon a video that I saw that Jacques Papin did in which he deboned a chicken and it gave me an idea for a, a different kind of party wing, something that I think could be fun. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up on a little tray that someone gave me for Christmas with these little um, uh, frilled toothpicks so that you could put it out on a buffet or as a party food. For example, the uh, Super Bowl is coming up next month, February 2nd. This could be fun food to put out for the Super Bowl. Or uh, today is New Year's Day. It's the Rose Bowl. University of Oregon is playing. I like their quarterback, Justin Herbert. Uh, you could do these as party wings, spice them up as much as you want. You could marinate them, cook them on the barbecue, cook them under the broiler. You could uh, cook them in your air fryer. I'm going to fry them, and I'm going to use my finger licking chicken spice blend mix. I'll put a link at the end of the video. There'll be a link to this particular video, my finger licking chicken video, so you can get the formula rather than double it up here. And there'll also be a link to my website where you can go and print up for yourself this formula. So let's make these um, party wings. I bought some party wings from Costco. This is Kirkland's signature brand. They come as a three pack that I separated with scissors. I've got two different pieces of wing here. This is the drumette. It's got wing one big bone in it. And this is what they call the wingette. It's got two bones in it. And I've been experimenting with different ways of doing this. If you have good poultry shears, you can clip the ends off. And that'll make it a little bit easier to debone. You can do that with a really heavy duty knife. I'm going to put a piece of paper towel down to keep it from slipping. And then I'm going to grab the meat and just push it down from the bones. You can see the two bones sticking out there. Do the same thing on the other side. Push it down. Make sure that it's separated all the way around. Got a little knife here. I'm going to cut one tendon here. All right. And then you can just slide the bones out like that. Same thing on this side. There's the bone. And what you have is a little boneless piece of chicken wing. And then this, see, to do the the, the, with the drumette, which is a lot more work, what I find is best to do is just go around the top and separate, just cut through the tendons at the top. That'll make it a lot easier to debone the chicken. And you can just kind of go in close to the bone. You can feel a knife going in close to the bone and just cut the tendons there. A little bit more right here, like so. And then from the other end, it's a lot easier at the smaller end. Whoops. Make a mess, but once you get going, it goes pretty well. And then the same thing, just push the meat down off the bone. goes. You can feel it uh, come loose as it separates from the bone. And then the bone will just slide right out. Like so. Is there another piece in there? Yes, this bone was broken. So you run into that sometimes that when they process the chicken, sometimes the bones are broken inside. Clean it up. And there's another boneless piece of chicken. Feel around. Sometimes there's a little bit of cartilage or something left over. And just remove that. And that's the drumette deboned. It's a little bit of work, but I think 
it's something that can be fun to do to serve on a buffet or a party. This is my last wing. This is a wingette. I did two of those packages. I'm going to leave a third to cook up later. And I have to say, this is not easy. But once I got going and figured out where to cut, it made things a lot easier. So I take the ends off, and then I just use my knife along with my fingers to push the meat down off the bone. Flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. Gonna do a little bit of a cut right there. Oh, it's really attached there. Okay. It's slippery. And the same thing on this side. And then these bones should just slide right out. That one's out. And this one's out. So I wouldn't do this, come home from work, and try to have dinner on the table by 5 30, 6 o'clock. <laughs> I think it's a lot of work for that. But to do something special, like to put boneless chicken wings on the table for something like the Super Bowl, I think that is excellent. So here is what I ended up with. That's two packages of those party wings. As I said, I'll keep the third for uh, cooking differently later on. Now let's fry these. In this bowl, I beat together one egg and some milk, and I can mix up some more if I need to. And then in this bowl, I'm going to put some of my dry coating mix. And then I'm going to put a wing in the coating, dry coating first, and then dip it in the egg. Let that drip. And then go back into my coating again. Good enough. Shake the excess off and put this on a tray that I lined with parchment paper over here. I've heated some oil on the stove. I'm going to set my chicken pieces in there. Not going to crowd the pan too much because I want to get that skin crisp. And what can I get in there? Maybe seven pieces, at least without crowding the pan. And I'm going to cook these until they're cooked all the way through. I have a digital thermometer and I'll cook them until I get them up to about a hundred. 68 degrees. That's about 75 degrees Celsius. I put a splash guard on there to try to keep my stove clean. What happens is these, some of these pieces, a lot of them, they'll turn, they'll, they'll um, turn round. They kind of, without the bones to hold the piece long, they kind of shrivel up and make a little round little ball. Get these turned over and they cook pretty quickly. I mean these are wings. It's not like cooking chicken breasts. They're gonna take longer. These will cook fairly quickly. So these have been cooking at a, for about five minutes per side. I'm ready to check them with my digital thermometer. That's 166, 67, 68. That's what I want. This one's even higher, 178. So I lined a tray with paper towel so I can move these to the tray to drain. I'm ready to start plating these with my toothpicks. And by the way, these are called club frills. I got these on Amazon in case you're looking to buy some. 
I have my chicken over here and what you can do is pierce a piece of chicken and place it on the plate and just keep arranging them all the way around until you fill up this tray there they are look at that doesn't that look fantastic I mean with all that color in there and everything it just it looks festive like it would be appropriate for say um, a Super Bowl game buffet or something or someone's birthday party there's a lot of things you can do with this and by the way I got 30 pieces out of this now how I would serve this I read online that the most popular dressing is ranch ranch salad dressing you could put ranch with this for people to take their chicken and dip it in some ranch dressing and eat it I'm ready to taste one of these and again I'll put the link um, at the end of this video to the video for finger licking chicken and in the lower corner one of the lower corners it'll be a link to the website that has the recipe that you can print up tastes like my finger licking chicken that's quite good oh that's good train going by all right I'm ready to sit down and watch some football what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan fry them in oil and I'm going to use some of my thicker finger chicken licking no 